tiny little critter right around the 3,000 pound mark the 16 BHS wolf pup is excellent for people who just have small camping needs wants desires or maybe limited tow capacities but you need a couple sleeping spaces for mom dad and a couple kids this is an extremely well equipped little camper as we'll see when we go through the video now just about everybody and their brother who builds campers is going to build a, uh, a layout like this one and that's because camper r d does not stand for research and development it stands for rip off and duplicate so what have they done different here in this wolf pup that has made uh, it and the Cherokee family the single number one selling thing from Forest River? That's a, that's a pretty big deal. Forest River builds a lot of stuff. This thing is not only the most successful product at Forest River, but it's also uh, one of the very fastest growing trailers on the market despite its monster volume. There's a very good chance by next year or the year after they might actually take over the number one spot at their current clip. What are they doing? Why is this so on fire? Well, I'm just going to kind of start working my way around the trailer because there's a lot of little things that contribute to it. <clears throat> One of the good ways I think I can describe this, like, this is AM, FM, CD, uh, stereo right here. Um, the uh, We're Bluetooth enabled. We've even got, if you notice, like, call answer and call decline buttons with a microphone right here. So the whole entertainment setup, even with an inside-out sign speaker zone separation there, this is like an upgraded thing right here compared to what you often find out there. Um hardwood cabinet doors and and full poles right here so you can actually get your hands on these like shaker style cabinet doors and open this up and get to see all the storage in this that is something you don't always find at this price point or in, in, in this category you'll find a lot of particle board uh cabinet style construction with sticker wraps on it versus the uh, hardwood stuff that you see right here and there's nothing wrong with the other style it's this is a great above and that's what you're going to see all over the place compared to industry standard or even Forest River at large. You know, the, the other cousins that build similar things at Forest River to this, they're going to be missing some of these fine details. That's kind of the little stuff I think that has really just helped the wolf pup stick out and appeal. It's a hundred little factors. Like we have a full, this is not a reduced height camper. Some of these single axle jobs, they are lower interior height. This is a normal full six and a half foot tall interior. What that means is that a guy like me can walk completely under the uh, larger upgraded uh, air conditioner on this, the 13,500 BTU air, and not bash my head into it. Well, I find that positive. We've got all LED lighting. Now, LED lights are more and more common than they ever used to be, and that's a good thing. That is not a complaint. But there are still a very small number of manufacturers that are throwing incandescent bulbs and stuff to save a little money. Big windows that all have night shades for privacy, not just pl uh, little cheaper metal mini blinds. Um, and you're also going to find a lot of extra electronic related stuff in these. Anywhere, anywhere, you can sit and sleep in this basically. You're going to find both household and USB plugs. And you notice how that power light indicator is on right there. That We're only on a 12 volt power source right now. Uh, so this requires park power, but all of these can be operated just off the battery on the tongue. So the little solar prep we'll talk about outside, if you're boondocking, guys, that is very handy for keeping your devices and stuff up to date. Full storage above the bed. They didn't sacrifice that by any stretch, and I love the cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. But the bed itself is also easy lift. That is one of the other things I like here. You, It's not just that there's storage uh, below the bed, but they spent a little extra money for those struts to make the bed easy to lift to get to that storage. That's the little Cherokee advantage. That's the extras that they're doing that are often missed in this category. Um, there's also, and it's when you're laying down, guys, it's uh, it, it's kind of nice that it's a little bit hidden, or if you lift the bed, it's easy to get to. There's sort of a recessed hidden headboard in there. If there's little semi-valuable objects you want to keep kind of hidden away, it's a good spot for stuff like that. Now, we are carpetless completely. We are easy, easy cleaning in this layout, which is great. Especially, you know, with kids running and going back and forth to the fridge, to the bunks, to the toilet. It is nice to make this thing super easy to clean. Uh, the dinette uh, has storage below it. You can fold that down into an extra little bonus sleeper if you need that fifth sleeping space. Um, over here, I want to take a, a look at the bunk area. Because one of the things that concerns a lot of folks is... Uh, can somebody take my kid? Because this has a storage door on the outside of it. And the answer is no. Uh, because they'd, this is this door right here is exactly the same as the main entry door and a deadbolt shut, guys. So this has the same deadbolt security that that has right there. So uh, there, there's th those security concerns have been addressed on this model. I, I like that they actually did that. Now notice here, too. 
but you didn't scale down from the nice pleated shades on your um, upper bunk window, and that's huge, by the way, a big window for lots of light and air, but they stayed with the same uh, window treatments. And again, more USB plugs all over the place in this thing on a rainy day when the kids are stuck inside, and the only hope you have for sanity is that they, they can just please, please keep themselves occupied a little bit. This will keep them going. Now, every each bunk, each sleeping space has its own little light to keep everybody comfortable and happy. And look at this. Look at a full six cubic foot, two-door refrigerator and freezer in this little camper. That is an exceptionally uncommon quality. What you will typically find is the truck camper fridge underneath the kitchen countertop. And not only is that smaller, but it also means that you're going to lose out on all of that potential storage space right there. And that is a lot of storage space that I don't feel like losing out personally. I think that is an exceptionally well done thing. Now, the countertops, the tabletops, uh, anywhere you see like a counter material, even the headboard for the bed, it's called thermal foil. It's a sealed edge membrane so that when you are splashing water or if the kids are over here and they jostle the table and spill something, it's not going to cause any sponging or swelling or exposure on your uh, cabinets there and cause failure. Um, power awning on this and the uh, switch is very easy to get to by the door, but it's also up high where the kiddos are going to have a harder time getting to it. Now, they really didn't waste anything. They opened up every little nook and cranny and pocket they could. Um, the uh, bathroom here, Simple, but effective. Uh, you've got a foot flush toilet. You've got a uh, you know a, a tub shower combo, but what I do like here is they do have the protective shower wall surround paneling. And we've got a uh, dedicated power vent fan here in the bathroom just to help get that extra airflow in there where you might want and need it most. Now the outside of all these Cherokee campers, they are as, uh, I guess you could say, deceptively well equipped as the inside. Because it's got a very earth tone, uh, simple look about it. But again, all of the equipment is a little notch above. Like we've got the larger uh, entry handle for a little bit easier coming and going. So the kids don't fling the uh, door open. You see that it's a, uh, a friction hinge latch so that it self catches. You see we've got the nicer Moride steps right here and with the adjustable feet pegs so that this is extremely sturdy and stable. And I think that they are the most impacting on a smaller camper like this one. And I say that because a smaller camper is more apt to be able to be jostled back and forth when the kids or parents come and go. Well, this is supporting the weight of people coming and going so it doesn't make the camper rock and roll when people uh, hop in and out. So I think on a smaller camper, that's actually one of the most impactful instances of the Moride Steps. Now, we have not only rear stabilizers, but also front ones. And you're thinking, <laughs> yeah, so? Why are you talking about that? And the answer is because not all single axle campers have front stabilizer jacks. And not only are they stabilizers, they're not just single leg jacks, they're scissor jacks, which are even stronger. So they've done all the same heavy duty stabilization methods here they've done on the Big Brother Cherokees. A uh, little outside grill quick connect like all the Cherokee family members have. So if you do feel like bringing along a little grill, you hook it up, you're good to go. Um, we saw the uh, a glance at the storage under the bed on the inside with a little video bonus footage there. But if you notice, you can see that anything that would be exposed is actually hit with an anti-wicking treatment. So if it is a little bit rainy and some water gets on here, it's not going to soak in and, and swell up the wood and cause rot and mold problems. A little simple uh, solar hookup right here if you feel like getting one of those, I call it solar suitcases, those little portable panels. Again, very good for just keeping the battery topped off up front here. Or if there is room if you do want to put a second battery for something like that, you're good to go there too. These are narrow body, so it is easy towing because it is not wider than a towing vehicle. At least not one capable of actually towing this. Well, I guess by saying towing vehicle, I've kind of excluded anything else. Never mind. Anyway, I've done it to myself again, moving on. Uh, my point is, it's easy to see around this. You don't get near the headwind uh, that you would with a, a standard eight foot wide body camper. I do always, always recommend safety first though, guys, and I do still recommend you get towing extension mirrors. It's just such a good idea. It's silly not to do it. Now, what is also impressive is again the consistency with Big Brother, Cherokee, and Grey Wolf. They have the same extra thick painted aluminum skin on the nose as their, their brothers. And uh, this is, and I, I stress extra thick, because it, what it means is that it can give it the nice smooth look, or really gives it the look of a fiberglass, but being painted, it will hold up better against weather exposure and being extra thick. It's not going to buckle from like a headwind push. 
a full outside utility shower on a single axle camper like this, that's actually not a really common find. That's a neat thing to have right there. Um, the little uh, mag style wheels right here give it a good look uh, and we've got little tire pressure indicators on the valve stems right there. If that flips from green to red, you don't have to walk around here and unscrew every one of these and, and, and check the, uh, the pressure. You can look at it and go, oh, <laughs> I need air in that tire because the number one cause of tire failures in the RV industry is actually under inflation. So this helps eliminate that. Now here's that big bunkhouse storage garage, which again does have a deadbolt privacy lock right here, just like your main entry door. So no one's going to take your kids. I, I, I don't say that like I'm making fun of somebody. I get it. That's a concern that you have as parents. I can respect that. I have a heart attack every time I turn around at the park and I can't make immediate eye contact with my daughter. So I'm no different than you guys but this wouldn't give me any pause for concern whatsoever. Now notice little differences like this again. Why am I looking at a piece of wood right now? Because it's plywood. It's 5 8 plywood, which is actually the same as your floor decking on here. They are not made with extra scrap material. Cherokee is what you would call an A brand at Forest River. They're not a B brand that gets the leftover pieces and parts and the smashed up particle board wafers. They get the nicer stuff. So we've got 5 8 ton groove plywood floor decking average of 12 inch on center wall studs, which is a class leading uh, factor. And this does have a full walkable roof with the 3 8 uh, deck and uh, roof trusses every 16 inches on center. Again, just like Big Brother Cherokee and Grey Wolf, just in a smaller package. It's even got uh, the same style uh, rear cargo travel rack on the back here uh, with a 200 pound weight rating. 200? 225, which one is this? There's different racks of different ratings. Yes, 200 pound rating, I was correct, excellent. Now you do not need to take off the spare tire for that. That's what's kind of nice there, it is just simpler and easier. Uh, power awning, lights below it. Uh, there's even LED lighting behind uh, the, the speakers. I've got a little bonus feature right here for you to kind of give you an idea what that looks like. But again, the idea is that at night it'll give your campsite just a nice cool glow to kind of help set everything apart and um, it just makes it fun. You also have the same outside TV hookups you have on this uh, on this as the Big Brother, which is kind of neat because if you do pop uh, uh, entertainment on inside and you're playing it outside, they can kind of mirror one another. Um, I think we're pretty much good. Oh, even the antenna. As, as opposed to a less expensive crank up down antenna, this has a King Jack antenna system, which has uh, more range, more clarity, more channels. Everything on this is just the notch above. But you look at it and we seem to find that our wolf pups here at Halet RV are uh, less expensive or at worst no more expensive than anything else that lacks some of the equipment. And how is that possible? Well, we do try to work fair with folks, but I think Cherokee does as well. And the volume of campers that they produce allows them to get some of the very best deals on buying massive quantities of parts compared to almost any brand out there. You know, they are one of the very largest in the entire industry, so they got some serious weight they throw around for buying power. Um, so, you know, if that uh, kind of sounds good to you to get more equipment at same or better pricing, then maybe you would understand why so many people are looking toward the Wolf Pup versus so many other things in this category. And it doesn't mean there aren't other good campers. There's plenty of good campers out there, guys. I've always felt that every camper is the best in a different way, and I do still believe that even to this day. Um, it's just a matter of which one has the features that kind of sing to you. So hopefully you understand some of the benefits of uh, a wolf pup today. If you'd like to understand some of the more benefits of working with us here at Halet RV, give us a call, 800-256-5196. We only do everything, hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, and everything in between, <gasps> but we don't do hidden fees because hidden fees suck. Let's just, let's just put it boldly. Nobody likes hidden fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.